Hi, today we're going to be taking apart the BFG GTX 275. It's been sitting in a case for a couple of years, getting pretty dusty. I'm going to take it apart, change out the thermal paste, and see, blow it out, and clean it up a little bit. To start with, if you look at the end, you have to remove the standoffs for the DVI connectors and the two screws. I removed the standoffs and the screws on the PCI bracket. On this card it's on a hinge. You can see the hinge right here. If you wanted to take that off you can do it after you pull the board out. There's a screw that holds that in. For now we'll get started. We're going to take off the main screws out of the PCB. They're spring loaded so you don't over tighten them. So uh, when you take these out, you don't have to worry about what order they go in. They go back in any hole. As you can see, I removed all the screws on the back side. One thing you want to be careful is you don't remove the sticker on the back. Seeing that BFG is out of business, it don't really matter. But if you had EVGA card or other cards, you don't want to remove that sticker because it will void your warranty. If you have to lift the sticker to remove these screws, sometimes they'll put the sticker over top of the screws and it makes it for a pain, but make sure you don't destroy that sticker. We're going to take out the circuit board. When you take out the circuit board, you have to unhook the fan connector. Careful not to break that off. You can see it's pretty dusty. Be careful with your thermal pads. You can see there's a pretty rough shape. It's recommended that you don't reuse the thermal pads. You can buy thermal pads just about any place online. They're about a half a mil thick, these ones look. So we take out our circuit board. On the BFG model, to take out the heat sink, you got four screws that you have to remove. Um, a lot of them will a lot of other, most other cards, the cover will just snap out of the bracket. So we take out the heat sink. You can see it's pretty dirty. So what I'll do is go ahead and blow that out. I'm going to clean up the thermal paste. You can see it's pretty hard and chunky. What I do is I just take get the old stuff off. You can buy thermal paste cleaner. What I use is I just use rubbing alcohol. It works very well and uh, evaporates off pretty quickly. You can see the dust that builds up on these. Your card certainly ain't going to cool very well if it's all covered in dust. Um, so I'm going to take this out and blow it out. I blew out the heat sink and fan came pretty clean. Just better be careful not to bend these fins. So I'll set it back in here. Make sure your fan wire is not stuck down in there. I went ahead and cleaned off the chip and the heat sink. Now what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to clean it up. What I like to use is a coffee filter. Coffee filter is lint free and it works pretty good, better than a paper towel. So I just clean off any excess thermal paste that's on the chip and on the heat sink. Get it nice and clean, let it dry off for a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and apply my thermal paste. I'm going to use the Arctic Silver. The way I like to apply this thermal paste, I like to do an X or a cross. It's a little bit different than doing uh, the CPU. The CPU, you don't really need hardly any at all. Just a little pea size amount. Put on this chipset for NVIDIA on my graphics cards. 
I like to put it on pretty good. I'll show you what this looks like after we put the heat sink on. Now we have that on, we're going to go ahead and get our heat sink. First you want to make sure you remember to plug in your fan because you'd be pretty mad if you got to take it all apart to because your fan don't work. So now we're going to install the board on top of the heat sink. And we'll reassemble our screws. I put the screws back in. Again, they're spring loaded, so you don't over tighten them. But you want to make sure you don't go too tight with them. Uh, you can over tighten them even with the springs in them. So just use care when you're reassembling it. Now I'm just going to put the screws back in and the standoffs on the PCI slot bracket. I'm going to remove the circuit board so you can see what kind of contact that I had with the thermal paste. You can see that it had good coverage with the thermal paste. You just got to be careful you don't use too much or too little actually. Uh, they're, neither one are good. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to it if you want to guarantee that your card's going to run cooler is clean it out once in a while. There you go. BFG G4 GTX 275. Be sure, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back.